let's start by, by Dunkirk and, and what you discovered about the historical facts participating in this film. We'll start with you, Harry, and then. Um, I think when you learn about Dunkirk yeah. at school, it's, uh, it's obviously not our finest moment in the war. So I think when you learn about it, it's often washed over. Uh, it's told kind of as this quick, almost fairy tale tale a little bit. Um, I think through filming it, it was nice for us to delve into it a little more in terms of the, the human aspect of, of what it was and obviously realizing that each little piece of you know chaos was happening to so many different people who were obviously individuals. Mm. Um, so I think seeing it as more human stories rather than a statistic of people who kind of got home w was really interesting for me personally. Is that what you're most proud of in terms of the film? Obviously, it was quite an endeavor of a shoot, but it's so much told from the human point of view that it's very relatable. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a really important, important thing to do with a film like this. And I think that it's, Chris, it's something Chris really wanted to do, is uh, take out the political standpoint that there is in a lot of films about war and really go personal and intimate with the men that were there and kind of look at the resourcefulness and the tragedy and everything that is in this story naturally. He really wanted to explore it on a human level, on a personal level. A particular set of skills that you acquire, obviously for you, uh, something uh, a little bit uh, higher in the air. <laughs> I, I already knew how to do that. Oh, you did? <sighs> yeah. Um, it was the acting part, but no, no. <laughs> I, uh, no, it was, it, was a, it was a real privilege to be able to learn all about that and just fun to spend my time before shooting the film just learning about Spitfires. That's always, that's always great fun. Uh, Harry, this being a new departure for you, were you mm. most nervous about something in particular or quite excited about trying out something so different? Um, I think I was pretty excited about, you know, trying something different. Um, I think any time you can kind of get out of your comfort zone is, is a good thing. Uh, and obviously getting to work with such an amazing cast and crew of, of people who are amazing, and obviously with Chris. Um, you know, it's such a privilege to get, with work, to get to work with people who are so passionate about what they do. So I think you just have to kind of soak up as, as much of that as possible and, and just use it as a, an amazing and learning experience. And at some point, you know, the camera is so much in your face that you kind of forget everything else, right? It's a very immersive experience, the way it was shot, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think. Uh more than, yeah, just like him, more than uh, the camera being in your face, it was just the world around us that made it such an immersive experience. There was, everything's done for real. You know, Chris is a big believer in doing things as real as possible or as, uh, with as little visual effects as possible. So, you know, there were real Spitfires flying overhead. There were, you know, ships floating just off the, just off the beach. The, they set dress a kilometer of the beach to look like how it would have looked. Um, dressed 13 to 1500 extras in mm. soldiers uniforms it it's impossible to take yourself back to that time um, and try and imagine what they would have gone through because it, it's such a particular thing and I think until you're in the situation of mm. a soldier you can't really go there but he you know came as close as you possibly could I think with his yeah well. and we're all I mean types of stunts uh, done by uh, you guys? I mean, obviously, maybe not the, you know, diving in the water, but what was the most challenging part physically? Um, no, we did that. Yeah. Yeah, we did do that. Right, the, the diving in the water, like we did that. Um, I don't know what was most challenging. It wasn't that challenging because there's all these people around us that, mm. you know, you, you're always going to feel safe because they tell you, you know, th th they're ex-special forces or something like that. So it's very easy to give yourself over and not be scared. I don't think we were ever in danger at any point and nothing was ever too hard, you know, because we're shooting a film at the end of the day. What were you most proud of in achieving this role and being part of it? Um, I mean, I think it's such an important piece of history that obviously uh, is looked over, like, like we said earlier, and getting to be part of um, a story like this, obviously that happens to be told by a director like this is, uh, I think we're all kind of quite proud to just be involved with, in such an amazing project really. Um, I kind of, before we'd even started filming was, was quite excited to watch it. So yeah, I think it's just in a, any time you kind of get to be a part of something that is telling something that's so much more important than, you know, 
your personal feelings of of kind of you know that doesn't really go past just doing your bit for what the main focus is really that yeah. didn't make sense the sum, the sum yeah, total of, i get what you mean the sum total of the project was more important than the individuals i yeah. think mm. massively mm. this thing is like wholly about the, all the people involved all of the ensemble cast it's it's impossible to look at this you know, from one performance or from one person's job because without one person on the crew or the cast it wouldn't have been the film it is uh, and finally, are you excited or happy for your fans and friends to see this? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, I think I think the I think the film's really good. I think we're all very proud to be part of something that I think all of us enjoy and think is something great. Um, so yeah, I think people will like it. 